The Las Vegas Raiders have informed defensive tackle Jerry Tillery that he will be released when the new league year begins coming up here on Wednesday. This move does not surprise me at all. Jerry Tillery would have counted over $4 million against the cap, and he's really not that good of a player. And by releasing him, you ultimately save $3.8 million. To me, this just made a lot of sense for the Raiders. So Jerry Tillery is not going to be with the Raiders as we kind of go forward. Some people have speculated Maybe there's some sort of issue with Tom Telesco and Jerry Tillery, and that could be the case. Uh, there was a report coming out from the Chargers way back when, when Jerry Tillery ultimately got released. Uh, apparently, Brandon Staley, the coach, put a report out that kind of implied that maybe Jerry Tillery had some issues with the coach, the general manager. Um, but the report was basically that uh, Jerry Tillery was kind of becoming a distraction for the team. He really wasn't focusing on winning. Uh, he wasn't you know, he wasn't 100% with it. And basically, because of that, the the Chargers ultimately would get rid of Tillery. And uh, I think this is an interesting move because now Tom Telesco, who was the general manager with the Chargers at that time, has came to the Raiders and he's released him as well. Now, some people speculate there's something there to me. Uh, you know, I watch tape. I watch Jerry Tillery's tape. It's not good, right? It's, it's kind of bad, to be honest. Uh, especially this past year, Jerry Tillery was not good. Uh, he was outperformed by guys like Belil Nichols. He was outperformed by uh, some of the other guys. Adam Butler. Adam Butler was easily our best defensive tackle this season. Uh, and uh, to me, I think Jerry Taylor's contract, you know, $4.1 million in the upcoming season just doesn't make sense. And ultimately, you save $3.8 million. To me, that cap space could be spent on a different defensive tackle, which could ultimately allow the Raiders uh, a little bit more flexibility with their defensive linemen. Now, at the moment, the Raiders' defensive line is a little thin, especially since Adam Butler is a free agent. Uh, Blue Nichols is a free agent, so the Raiders would have to bring those guys back if we wanted to, to keep them for our roster next season. And at the moment, we just have a bunch of young guys, basically, right? Uh, we got Byron Young, who's technically under contract for a couple more seasons. We got Marquand McCall, who we actually picked up last season towards the end of the season, but he didn't play for the Raiders at all. Uh, he will be on the Raiders' roster uh, then you got Nesta Jade Silvera, who we obviously also drafted. Uh, you got David Agoa, uh, who we obviously also picked up as well. Uh, I believe he came through. Uh, I believe he came through that program. And then lastly, you got Matthew Butler. So you got a couple different defense tackles. There are obviously younger guys, uh, and there's just not a whole lot of experience at the moment in the defense tackle room. Now, I do expect the Raiders to bring Adam Butler back. Um, you know, I've watched Butler's tape. I've compared it to some of the other defense tackles we have. I've watched Tillery's tape as well. Tillery's tape just isn't very good, right? You can watch that he struggles with pass rushing. He struggles with getting off blocks. Uh, he just struggles. And to me, the thing with Tillery is, is that a lot of his sacks and a lot of his production really just comes from like high effort. And that's a good thing, but that's just not the way to have success as a defensive tackle. Uh, again, I think Tillery can still continue to develop. He can still continue to get better, but uh, I don't think at $4.1 million, it makes a lot of sense. That money could easily be given right away to Adam Butler and bringing him back. And that would be a much smarter decision. Um, I think for the Raiders, uh, we talked about this. Antonio Pierce has mentioned it as well. You have to go out and you have to get a defensive tackle, an impact a defensive tackle. It's going to make a roll of difference for the Raiders, right? You go out, you get an impact, impactful defensive tackle, and you can ultimately change this defensive line. Right. I think guys like Nesta J. Silvera and Marquand McCall and Byron Young, they can be the, the third rotational guy, right? That kind of comes in. Um, and then Adam Butler would be your number two defensive tackle. And then you got to go out and get that game changer. You got to go out there and get Christian Wilkins. You got to go out there and get one of these guys that could be a true number one defensive tackle, a three down player, never comes off the field. And then him and then Max Crosby are like the disruptors on that defensive line. To me, that would allow the Raiders to have success. But you got to go out and you got to make it happen. And I think the Raiders will. I think Antonio Pierce understands how important it is. He's already mentioned it. And Tom Telesco has done a great job building through the trenches, right? Or at least he's, he's tried to do that. It's not always worked out, right? Jerry Tillery obviously busted out for him while he's with the Chargers. But that is the way forward, in my opinion. You got to go out. You got to get those defensive tackles. You got to have a good front seven. But it really starts with that defensive line. Got to be physical up front. Uh, and I think Tom Tusco understands that. He tried to do it with the Chargers. And I do think he will try to do that with the Raiders. Of course, you get a quarterback. You build the trenches. That's the right way to win. So we'll see what ends up happening. But Jerry Tillery has been released. 
What do you guys think about that? Obviously, there's been a lot of news coming out here. Uh, we'll get guys that are being released coming up. We'll also get guys that the Raiders will be visiting with and, and those type of things. So uh, expect a lot of videos coming up here, man. So I uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys enjoy your time. Um, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.